Now, is this an actual doggy bag made for dogs? No, but we're gonna make it one. Welcome back, everybody. A few episodes ago, we talked about how I maintain a clean home with two dogs who are now shedding uncontrollably. One of the things that I really wanted for our dogs is to be able to take them with us when we travel, when we go on road trips, just going to the park, going to see our families. We want them to be really ingrained in the family and not feel like we have to figure out where they're going or if they're staying home. We want them to be able to just travel with ease. So I haven't opened this yet. I figured we would do it together. I'm very excited. Here she is. This feels luxe. Wow. Oh my. Let's take all the bells and whistles. This is the Donye Dover Indie diaper bag. This thing is a tank. It is amazing, super high quality. Now, you could order any old diaper bag that works for you, but this one has some features on it that I thought I just couldn't pass up on, and I'm really excited to share it with you, but we're also going to be filling it and creating the bag. I found the most clever products for you, and I am so excited to share this. When I sat down to figure out what this bag needed, I did my usual sketch and just kind of wrote out exactly what would be going in there, what I thought we would need, and then started doing a little bit of research online to find the perfect products. All right, so let's take a look at what I found. I went a little crazy, but it's, you'll see. I have all my things and I'm really looking forward to putting this bag together. So let's just go down the line here. You did see the mud buster already in our dog maintenance video. Guys, this thing is a game changer. It can be really messy with the dogs tracking their wet muddy paws into the home. It looks like a blender bottle, but it is actually a paw cleaner. We love to take the boys to our family's house. Everybody always wants the boys there. And typically we like to feed them when we're there. And I love these collapsible bowls. What you can do, little pro tip here, if you wanna just bring the food with you, expand it, measure out your dog's food, put the cover on it, and it's an all-in-one. You get the container to hold the food, but you also have it in the bowl that they're gonna eat it out of. And again, D-ring, we love a good D-ring. So got two of those, and then to go along with it, a larger bowl that is collapsible as well for their water. And this is really nice and deep, which is perfect because these guys drink a ton, so this is a good size. To go along with the water bottle, I thought about just you know taking a refillable water bottle, and then I was like, no, we gotta go one step further. It's called the anti-bottle, and what's really cool about this is when you're storing it in your baggie, just roll it up, it takes very little space. If you wanna pre-fill it, you can do that. And again, it's got the clip so it can go right on the outside of your bag. Genius. This is one of my favorite things, not only for the dogs, but for us as well. We're trying to use more sustainable products and the silicone food bags are definitely the way to go. The reason I liked these was not only do they open so that way they expand at the bottom and they can stand flat, but they have the measurements on them so you can know exactly how much food you're giving them. While we're talking about food, one of the boys' favorite things is their Kongs. We like to fill the Kongs with either food, sometimes peanut butter, a combination of both. We stick them in the freezer and then they're ready to go whenever they're needed. So this is a packet freezer bag and it's incredibly insulated, as you can see. You could probably fit about four medium-sized Kongs in there and if you do raw food or any type of uh, perishable treats for your dogs, this is another great option. We love to bring all of their toys with us. They have a ton of toys, particularly funny shaped ones that they like to carry around 
in their mouths and it's just funny, they're cute about it. They have a pineapple that they literally covet and it's the cutest thing ever. But those things get really gross and instead of just throwing them in the bag, I was, I was not about it. They need their own little carrying case. So this is a pack all mesh bag, super easy to clean out. We can throw their toys in there. It's plenty big for a couple of toys. And again, Eclipse. I also wanted to just stock up on some biodegradable waste bags. These are made from vegetable starch. So again, they're earth friendly and much better than the normal plastic ones or using like a shopping bag. It's no bueno. Whether the dogs are gonna be spending the night somewhere or we're just going to the park, the beach, they're gonna get a little gross. I like to have towels and blankets ready for them. This is something I was actually introduced to by my dad who uses these during the summer to stay cool and they are cooling towels. And these are great if you go for hikes and the dogs need a quick cool off or a quick rinse. And what's really cool is you can immerse the towel in water, wring it out and then put it in the pouch and it stays really cool. It kind of activates the fabric. Let's put the bag together. A few things to consider when picking out the right size bag for you. We totally could have gone with a small bag. However, I think this is really multi-use and that's what I wanted it to be for. If we were just doing a quick little hour trip to the park and we didn't need to necessarily stuff this bag, totally fine. But if we were going to be taking them for an overnight trip and they needed a lot of blankets and maybe you know some of their cleaning products, we can fill, you know, the extra pouches with some of their extra tools, training devices, things like that. You might want to bring some of their grooming tools, maybe the de -shutter. You know, if you're going to be staying at a family's house and you don't want their fur everywhere, it might be kind of a nice little thing to take with you. The other thing I was thinking about was comfort for me. So if we were going to go on a hike and maybe we were going to carry this with us, I wanted it to be really comfortable and also hold our own belongings. If me and Kyle are going to have snacks, water, a hat, sunscreen, anything we may need, it can go right in here as well. So it really needed to be a whole family situation, okay? Overall, this was a big success in my book. I'm gonna go pick up the dogs. So this bag is really a travel bag for the park. It's a travel bag if you're going long distance, overnight bag, it is going to fit everything. So now that we have our to-go doggy bag, I'm excited to go pick up the boys, put this baby to use. She's cute, she's functional. I would love to know your thoughts on this. Do you guys think I missed anything? Anything I need to add, take away? Do you think I'm being like way too extra? I mean, you can be honest. As always, I'm so glad you guys are checking out these videos. I hope you enjoy them. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you never miss a Simply episode. And don't forget to check out realsimple.com where you can find the rest of our Simply videos as well as more how-to content to help simplify your life. But as always, I hope you guys are doing well and we will see you soon.